Hey YouTube, it's ICU, and today, just when we thought we saw one of the last public iOS 9.3.x updates released last week being iOS 9.3.2, this morning Apple seeded iOS 9.3.3 to registered developers. So this isn't really great news where jailbreaking is concerned. We're going to get into it in just a second, but first, if you guys are interested in the wallpaper I have here, check the first link down below in the more info. It will feature there and you can download it if you want. So let's get straight into this. We're just on Apple's developer portal, which is at least partially accessible without having to log in and just tapping refresh. There we will see iOS 9.3.3 beta. This is the first release. It features a build number of 13G12 and for the post date, it lists today's date. Again, May 23rd, 2016. Now, before we get into the jailbreak ramifications of iOS 9.3.3 and some good news in the world of jailbreak, breaking Finally, let's talk about 9.3.3 as an update first. Now, currently we don't know what, if any, outward facing changes iOS 9.3.3 offers over its predecessors. However, just like 9.3.2, it is possible that 9.3.3 is and was mostly intended to correct minor bug complications that have managed to persist through every iOS 9 update, including the new ones that have been introduced since iOS 9.3. Point X. Now, as most of you recall, iOS 9.3, the first update, not 9.3.1 or 9.3.2, offered some pretty significant improvements, revisions, and features that we weren't really even expecting inside of an iOS 9 update. Remember Night Shift? That's a pretty big deal. Most were anticipating it would be rolled into something like iOS 10. So all of those new features introduced new bugs that Apple is still apparently working to correct as evident by today's 9.3.3 update. Now, as I mentioned in some of my 9.3.2 update videos, Apple was specifically working on that firmware as part of their efforts to stabilize 9.3.x in general, so that way they could focus the majority of their development efforts on iOS 10 as they start to phase out iOS 9, which they do every year. However, it looks like they're still smoothing things out as indicated by 9.3.3. Now from a jailbreak standpoint, it may look like they're doing this on purpose just to continually delay the release of the next untethered jailbreak utility. Now that's probably not the case. That just seems like a conspiracy theory. However, it certainly seems like it is, right? I mean, after every new iOS update, it seems like there's another new one right around the corner. Where does it end? Well, I'm here to tell you that eventually it will just like it does every single year. Remember, 9.3 is unique in that it has added so many new features and has changed so much over 9.2.x that it managed to crop up additional complications that Apple probably wasn't even aware of. Keep in mind that 9.3.2 even caused such a massive complication for 9.7 inch iPad Pro users that Apple had to completely pull the firmware for the 9.7 inch iPad Pro. And even as of right now, there's still not a solution that corrects or remedies the iOS 9.3.2 iPad Pro 9.7 inch complication. So Apple is yet to release an updated build of 9.3.2 for the device. It was expected that they were going to release something new for the iPad Pro, just an updated build number. However, with today's 9.3.3 update, it is possible that they will instead bake the solution into said firmware, in which case that means they're most likely going to issue 9.3.3 relatively soon, again, unless they decide to just issue a new build of 9.3.2. Either way, they're going to have to do one or the other. We'll just have to wait and see. So as far as jailbreaking is concerned, this may not delay things too much if they decide to roll the iPad Pro fix straight into 9.3.3. Let's hope they do that. Now, as far as good news where jailbreaking is concerned, over the weekend, news broke of 3K Assistant confirming that Taiji's interest has never faded where jailbreaking is concerned, and they hinted that they're still active in development, and again, they're still going to jailbreak new firmwares in the future. Now, for those of you who don't know, 3K Assistant is definitely a known associate of Taiji. I'm just here on Taiji's main website, as you can see, and they're listed here. Of course, 3K Assistant aids in providing funding for Taiji to develop new jailbreak utilities and release them to the masses. So that's some great news. It looks like Taiji is still working on creating a new jailbreak. Let's hope they can jailbreak 9.3.x 
Blacks, and let's also hope 9.3.3 is released soon and that it doesn't go through four beta releases like its predecessor did. So we have some interesting things going on right now in the world of jailbreaking. This is really an unprecedented time and we can't really compare it to anything else. Any surprises could still come up, which is why I'm going to keep you updated absolutely every step of the way. Be sure to click the subscribe button below next to my channel name to ensure that you don't miss out when I release new videos covering jailbreaking. And if you want to be updated even more often, just like me on Facebook and follow me on Twitter. And until next time, this is ICU signing out. Join the iCrack Your Device community on Patreon to help out the channel and to be featured in videos similar to these top contributors. Click the link on your screens now if you're on desktop or check below.